Hey crafters, it's Sarah here with Craft Test Dummies and Miss Dina Wigley who is Ranger's newest signature designer. Hi Dina. Hi. How are you today? Awesome. What do you have to show us? Well, I'm so excited about my new paint line. I have paint that's heavy body. And what that means is, if you want to look down this way, so it will, it will stay in a bead. Right? So it looks like toothpaste. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it spreads like butter. Uh, because some heavy body paints are really impossible to spread. And I didn't want mine to be a lot of work. So I want you to try it. Like, will you be my dummy? Will you be my craft test dummy? I will be. Okay. Fondle it around there. Isn't it yummy? Oh, it's buttery. You gotta admit it's pretty smooth for making a heavy body paint. Now can you use it with stencils? Will it hold in to yes. the form? It will, which is why I wanted the paint to be heavy body. And why I wanted the brushes to be, have a stiff spring. Um, because if you try to stencil with a really soft brush, it doesn't work. Right? So feel the edge of the brush. Feel it. Fondle it. Yeah, they have, they, they have a nice stiff bristle. And it's, it's just an acrylic bristle. It's not like a hot, expensive hog hair. I mean, you can go buy those expensive um, hog brish, bristle brushes that are like 80 bucks a brush. <laughs> uh, which is just too much, right? So these are nice. If you ruin one, oh well. If you leave them in water for two weeks. Not that I've done that. Uh, no, I just did it last week. Um, so for the most part, you know, they're just, they're just such a pleasure to use. And then you should always stencil with a dry brush. Dry, dry, dry. None of my brushes are dry at this point. Because <laughs> I've been here all day. Uh, but a little bit of, let's use this paint. People say, why do you choose the colors of paint that go in your journal? It's not rocket science. You use less paint than you think when you're stenciling. See, I even got a little seepage there because I had too much paint on my brush. So you have to use just a little bit. And you get, oh, do the same thing over and over. You, know, you can get the stenciling. And how so, many do different colors of paint are in your palette? I have 12 colors. I did not do black. People are a little surprised about that. But I don't use black paint very often. I prefer to use dark navy, which is why I have a color called Night. It's this one right here. It's like a super yummy, dark, neutral, wow. dark, dark navy. And it tends to be my most used dark neutral. I mean, I do use black now and then. And there's black gesso in my line. So if you need black, use black gesso. Um, but this color, I I, can't, I just can't get enough of. I use it all the time. So it's just, this is, if I had to cut one color to fit in this one, I, I got rid of black. <laughs> so because it just, it just kind of takes the place of black for me. So that's, you know, the, the, the paint and the, and the brushes I'm so excited about. Easy to use, easy to incorporate into what you're doing. So that's my new stuff. Thank you so much, Dina. We look forward to seeing more from you. Thank you.